we're like uh like aficionados yeah we're like um connoisseurs connoisseurs mm-hmm. we're, we're the wine people sommeliers sommeliers yeah we're, we're sociers we're certified yeah sociers yes hello and welcome back to the croak and crow podcast i am spencer cardia i am evergreen and this here is frank looking gorgeous because him and i are going to the beach beach bound beach bound fun beach bash bound fun you know what i was thinking of and i spaced out for a second when i said croak and crow i was at um i was out last night and there's a game called crocono 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 how funny it's it's the uh the big circle board okay and you like have to hit the uh the little like um look like little checkers like chinese checkers like, yeah but like you have to hit, get into the center circle is it a ball or is it a chip no it's like a disc like a, like a, a little disc? wood a little oh, like wooden wings yeah like a little wooden disc and so you have to like put your two fingers crocono crocono fun croak and crow playing crocono the croak and, the croak and crow version you know how they have like, oh, like, like the Monopoly, eddie bauer like, yeah version it'd yeah. be the it could be our version the croak and crow crocono yeah i like it what do you know well frank and i are going to the beach bye yep does he travel well <laughs> yeah actually um that's that's it that's all i have to say about that okay um it's my last it's my last um weekend of the summer why your last weekend because i start school next week but start teaching the, you'll still be on earth and there'll still be summers happening no like you know like uh, free. summer proper so last weekend of Sum- freedom yeah that's for sure <laughs> yeah but, you start next week yeah some people have already started. It's true. I don't think anyone even knows. Do we do they, do they announcement? An announcement. I am going back to school, but this time I'm not the student. Mm-mm-mm. I'm the teacher. The student becomes a teacher. <laughs> Your true calling. Yes. Um. It, I was supposed to be teaching kindergarten, but uh, in my shadowing day, I was I was selected. And they say you need to teach preschool. I love it. And I said, is there even a teaching of the preschool? Of course there is. Nowadays, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When oh. my children, when my oldest children, much older than you. Yeah. Uh, uh, I went to put them in kindergarten and um, I was like, who needs everything that comes before? Yeah. It's daycare until you get to kindergarten. It's not. Yeah. They, the other children were reading, writing. They knew the days of the week and the seasons yeah. and everything. And so my kids were like, eh? Because yeah. I didn't know. If anything, some would argue it's the hardest or the most important yeah. thing to teach because you're teaching a child who's been at home yeah. for years yeah. how to enter school. By the end of the end of the school year, they need to be ready yeah. to enter the uh, prison of a school system. But yeah. yeah, so I started that next week. Um, I'm excited. I know. I'm You'll nervous. probably have lots of stories. Oh, I'm sure. I, yeah. I'm sure I'll have lots of stories and um, I can like practice my podcast talk with them. <laughs> Because like, I was having like a classroom looking at me. Oh, my like, gosh. Hello, and welcome back to Croak and Crow. And oh, my the, gosh. That's really funny. Work on my... Future uh, fans. Yeah. That's make, the thing. <laughs> get them on their We realize we, we, you know, we can't get enough of the ones that have like been around. Right. So we're thinking we're going to like grow fans. Right. You know, like when you grow a f- fan base? Yeah. We're going to legitimately be growing right. fans. Um, we have a new fan, Prosper. Um, Live and, long. Yeah. <laughs> he... Uh, so, so our car driving. I, I wish they, uh, they uh, had a brother named Live Long, and then you're like, oh, you know those brothers? Which ones? Uh, Live Long and Prosper. Yeah. Oh yeah. You could do that. Also, I see that you didn't put up Amy's um, channel. I couldn't find it. <sighs> How dare you? I, I, so I put it up today. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it up. Uh, yeah. Amy, you're it's right here. Okay. It's no. It's not because I don't it's know. Not, yeah. I don't know Amy's channel. It's the name of like it, it. Isn't it hard to find stuff? It gets flooded, and then I, I was you handle most of the youtube online marketing you're the tech whiz subscribers yeah could not find anywhere to where the subscribers are it's very no it's it's so hard um yeah hers might be on there because if you're not public is that it you don't even show up yeah i don't know it's 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 not that friendly it's very hard also even when you know their name like it's you could type in and you still it's if you yeah. type in croak and crow sometimes we don't come up yeah, it's so, very so, hard so you can imagine like so uh, everything shakes it's like there's not many other yeah. names like that, and then the praying couple cooking series. Right. It's like first no, thing. Amy's but, is not. It's I think it's in Portuguese. It's like yeah. a letter M yeah. and it goes across. Okay. Yeah. So, Amy, sorry. 
Um, what was I saying? I was talking. You about- said little fans um, because we, we can't find real people. We're going to have children grow yes, up. Yes. And we'll wait for them. To yeah. get old enough. So yeah, so this is this is my last uh, week of the summer, but yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. To I know, so am I. I love new things, and yeah. it's really good for your brain, and good for the for the brand. Not that I'm doing it for the brand, mm-hmm. but um, you know, children are are important. Yeah, and I think just it being in a position of being around children, yeah, gives you a a good outlook on life. It really does. And I'm not going to have any children, so that's what I was just going to say. You know. It's very hard to be a parent and it's very, for so many reasons, so many challenges. But the benefit of being a parent is what we always talk about, the the God and us relationship. You can see it so much and and you just think, if I love my child this much, imagine how much God loves me. Yes. And if so, if you don't have children, another way to do it is to work with children. Yeah. No, I, I often say that when people say like the most important things in life and a lot of it will be marriage and children. Yeah. And my personal belief is because that is for a lot of people the first time they have truly selfless love. Right. Like not because you it's a baby. You're not asking for anything in return. Right. And so, uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe who knows? Maybe I'll be the next uh, Fred Rogers. I think you already are. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. No, yeah. I'm his evil little brother that you never heard about. Char- yeah, I Charlie wonder. Rogers. Did he have siblings? I don't know. That'd be very interesting. Some bitter sibling out there. Yeah. Like, you didn't know Fred, believe yeah, me. Yeah, like a real, you didn't know Fred. A, a real cynic. And it's yeah. like, at Thanksgiving, it's like, Oh, what? No, because we talked about this before that there always is like an evil sibling. There Remember is. like Bill Clinton had his brother and um, I forget who we're talking about. Sylvester Stallone. There's always like this this like uh, loose cannon of, yeah. a bro- of, a, of a sibling. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> we're going to have to look into that. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah, it's Friday. Um, beautiful day in August. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? It, this is what I want to talk about. Okay. It's National Photo Day. Photograph. Photo. Or phonograph. <laughs> I got it. Got that out. <laughs> um photo and i was talking to an, an old guy yesterday he's actually one of my favorite park customers oh he's a customer well, yeah he he um stops by goes for walks he's this like older south philly guy very nice and so he came in we were talking about he had walked in because normally normal outside and i was like learning german um oh, on, like, the okay. duolingo yeah and he was like got to talking and then he was saying back in the 70s when he graduated college he went backpacking through Europe and he was saying how great of an experience it was and like it made him more of a well-rounded person than he is today. But he's like, you know, back then I didn't take any photos. Uh-huh. And, and um, I was thinking about it and I'm like, are photos good or bad? What's like, what's be- like to capture a moment to share with others or like, and I'm not saying all photos are bad, but do you think there is a separate experience to just have that in you? have as a there's, memory there's it's, it's there's a it's a spectrum it's a spectrum and yeah. and it's a preference um you could photos are great and people love photos but on the other hand um sometimes your your mind's eye makes it way better than the photo yeah eh, uh, and also you could have the the bad experiences like i've had where i lost i lost photos so i feel like nowadays though there's a lot of ways to hold on to photos really i think it's worse now yeah, I know. I was thinking that like so many of my photos are just on things, right? Yeah, like Instagram or yeah, or my iCloud. I know. Um, it's yeah, some company. No, I definitely think it's a spectrum. Like you could even lose it. Instagram could stay in business, and your God forbid, your your account gets hacked. Yeah, yeah. You can make screenshots. I mean, yeah, that's happened. My snap, my Snapchat got hacked and deleted. I don't know. Wh- yeah. And there's all there was photos that you saved to Snapchat. I know. Miss those photos. <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't even try to think about all the photos I lost and I just say, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No, there's, there's definitely a spectrum. Like I think I have caught myself doing both sides. Mm-hmm. So like for one example, you know, I've, I've been the person at a concert who is filming and it's like, I'm never going to really look at yeah, these again. Right. It's like, and, but then there's a lot of times where I go out like with friends, especially, and I'm never the person to say, let's take a photo. And then I always regret it. Yeah. Afterwards, like when I see other people's photos. And yeah. Because like, there's a nice thing about, you know, like memories, Kodak moments. What can you do? What can you do? You do or you don't. Unless I don't you're know. Native American and you feel like it's taking a piece of your soul. I would like to have someone follow me around and take photos. I would love that. Yeah. That's easier. Yeah. People are like, oh, no, paparazzi. Yeah, paparazzi. That's awesome. Yeah. Document me every time you see me. And, um, and there you go. <laughs> no, I, I, I definitely it's agree easier. with that. I, think. I, I would like to hire one for a party. 
just you're one of the guests you're going to circulate and take pictures because you know it's like clank clank clank. yeah yeah and i feel like that'd be better right like i think even on like low scale parties i'm gonna start hiring them for house no for sure and what i'm when i say have him there or she um i'm not saying do not do not um pose people yeah you know yeah you just are going to be in the background and you're going to a little candid, candid photos. Candid, candid camera. Yeah. Or even if it, you know, even if you know they're there, it's like you're doing, you, know, you turn. Yeah. If someone like, says, "Who's the guy taking photos?" I'm gonna say, "I hired them," but you know what? Actually, don't pose us. You know, you know what's funny? Um, and Sierra can vouch for this. And here's a photo of Sierra. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's a good one. She gets really mad because uh, I. You choose the least fortunate ones. I What's am yours? blind. To them looking bad. I don't think... That's nice of you to say, yeah, I, but I, I don't believe I don't you. think I've ever seen a bad photo of her. Listen, I didn't either, but you pick. You are picking these on purpose. Okay. <laughs> um, we were at a party of one of her friends and who was a photographer, but had their photographer friend actually do what we're saying. Oh, really? And it was awesome. And it was okay. like with like a nice camera and stuff. And so like there was photos of just me like on a couch talking oh, to some baddie. Yeah, I love it. <clears throat> um, and yeah, it was like... Uh, I, I wonder if they're somewhere, but... Um, our, our other friend and oh. on National Photo Day the one thing we didn't say is uh, it gives photographers more value yes like, I think like photography is, is, is definitely a very like uh, it's an art that I feel like is not appreciated a, that much because everyone can take photos right like it's like if everyone drew Point on, a, on yeah. a daily basis right you would like oh well, you do the same thing as me to an artist and it's like well it's a little bit different yeah photographers are the same way it's like an art you, know, you can take years to master and you see the difference yeah so you'd be you'd be you'd be uh getting jobs to photographers yeah um i was gonna say that avalon it has an idea for a project which she never does but whenever she sees construction workers mm-hmm. not doing construction she so, wants to have so 90 percent of the time she wants to have a serious no because it's just so much more like they're eating a lot they're usually like picnicking they never yeah, just eat normally yeah. or whatever um but the weird thing is unless you have like a nice big camera and you look photographery doing the the phone sometimes people think you're a, like a weirdo yeah i'm so self-conscious about that like uh, there's a lot of times i'm just holding my phone up and i'm like i hope they don't think i'm taking the i photo know then. and my case is bright orange so it's yeah. really noticeable okay did you ever accidentally take a photo with the sound on yes uh, as a matter of fact i was doing something and people were close by and i didn't take a photo but i i think i took a screenshot and it made the ch- it made the sound yeah. and both the people looked up at me and i'm like oh, it was a screenshot it was a screenshot because yeah, no. i don't have sound on my real camera yeah yeah no I was, I was just um i forget where i was but no you know what this time it wasn't uh i didn't take the photo i or no i did it was a flash oh yeah and it's like that okay i remember exactly flash? i remember no i'll tell you what it was it wasn't the flash two different stories okay it was a Snapchat selfie, but I'm, I hold my phone up and it's like cha-ching. And then there's like these two girls right in front right. of me. And I'm like, this is me. And I then know. they're like, why are you showing me you? <laughs> this just got weirder. That could be a different trick. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't taking a picture of you, but here's a picture of me. <laughs> Keep it. Your phone? Yeah. I just airdropped it to you. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, guys. It is Friday. And so obviously we're being silly because it's a silly day. It's Dr. Seuss Friday. I didn't hit a button, did I? No. Man, I love Dr. Seuss. He's great. He's the best. Did he have a sibling? Oh, did he have a crazy brother? <laughs> I wonder. A jealous brother. Yeah, we should, we should make a compilation. Yeah, of, of siblings. Like, famous siblings. Famous Or n- siblings to famous people. Famous siblings sounds like like uh, oh, Jake Gyllenhaal has... Has um, Maggie. Maggie mm-hmm. Gyllenhaal. All right, guys. Uh, so Dr. Seuss Friday, we read a Dr. Seuss book. Yeah. And we get significance out of it we do it's it's uh inside of these little rhymes and characters like the cat in the hat mm-hmm. there are actual meanings and, yeah. and i mean I, i'm not gonna go on the spiel every time we have an entire playlist mm-hmm. i think last week's was really good yeah what was it horton hatched the egg horton hatched the egg um but the, we're reading a book today that i never even knew was a thing the hat in the hat comes back <laughs> the cat <laughs> I just got done work, guys. The cat in the hat. The cat in the hat comes Comes back. back. So again, look in the playlist because we have the cat in the hat. Do you remember what our significance of the of that was? The mom came home. We we, no, at the very end, we said the mom was like God. Oh yeah. And we were saying, 
Oh man, they we need to, to we need to go to our playlist. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, no, because I want to see if it ties in. Oh. Okay. So we well, were like, you're not really bored. Or was it? Was it? Uh, was it? They brought. They brought activity on. Were, were we saying like like the uh, Idle Minds, the Devil's Playground? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we'll, we'll get our memory will be jogged. Yeah. When the cat and hat comes back. The hat, cat, and the hat. No wonder he's a famous character because if he had two big books about him. But he is like, like just the, like Horton. He has Horton more than has one a book. lot though. Horton has a lot of books. Yeah, Horton is a who? Horton in the Quagger book? Horton's oh, you're a, right. Horton you're right. You're right. But when you think Dr. Seuss and you think Cat and Hat, you put on the red hat. Which is interesting. Now that we've read all of these books, mm-hmm. right? We've read a lot. There's a stack over yeah. there. I, I'm not going to show it again. Um, Ever. <laughs> it, it makes you, you know, like we're like uh, like aficionados. Yeah. We're like um, connoisseurs. Connoisseurs. Mm-hmm. What, are, what are the wine people? A sommeliers. Som- sommeliers, yeah. We're, we're Soussiers. We're certified. Yeah, Soussiers, we're yes. Soussiers. And it, it makes you question, like, why was the cat in that the best? I don't, yeah. I don't think it was nearly my favorite. No. You know what my favorite, I think, was? I liked the uh, Thidwick, the big hearted Oh, yeah, moose. I liked him, too. He was pretty cool. All right, cat in that comes back. Let's just get into it. Um, here we go. This was no time for play. This was no time for fun. This was no time for games. There was work to be done. All that deep, deep, deep snow, all that snow had to go. When our mother went down to town for the day, she said somebody has to clean all this away. Somebody, somebody has to, who you see. Then she picked out two somebodies, Sally and me. Well, there we were. We were working like that. And then who should come up but the cat in the hat? Oh, 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 Sally said. Don't you talk to that cat. That cat is a bad one, that cat in the hat. He plays lots of bad tricks. Don't let him come near. You know what he did the last time he was here. Play tricks, laughed the cat. Oh, my, my, no, no, no. I just want to go in to get out of the snow. Keep your mind on your work. You just stay there, you too. I will go in the house and find something to do. And that cat went right in. He was up to no good. So I ran in after as fast as I could. Do you know where I found him? You know where he was? He was eating a cake in the tub. Yes, he was. The hot water water was on. And the cold water, too. And I said to the cat, what a bad thing to do. I messed up that rhyme. It's so bad. Okay. But I like to eat cake and the tub left the cat. You should try it sometime, laughed the cat as he sat. And then I got mad. This was no time for fun. I said, cat, you get out. There's work to be done. I have no time for tricks. I must go back and dig. I can't have you here eating cake like a pig. You get out of this house. We don't want you about. Then I shut off the water and let it run out. The water ran out and then I saw... The ring, a ring in the tub, and oh boy, what a thing, a big, long pink cat ring. It looked like pink ink, and I said, will this ever come off? I don't think. Have no fear of that ring, laughed the cat in the hat. Why, I can take cat rings off tubs, just like that. Do you know how he did it with mother's white dress? Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. Then Sally looked in, Sally saw the dress too, and Sally and I did not know what to do. We should work in the snow, but that dress, what a spot. It may never come off, Sally said it may not. But the cat laughed, ho, ho, I can make this spot go. The way I take spots off a dress is just so. See here, laughed the cat, it's not hard at all. The thing that takes spots off a dress is a wall. Then we saw the cat wipe the spots off the dress. Now the dress was all clean, but the wall, what a mess. Oh, wall spots, he laughed, let me tell you some news. To take spots off a wall, all I need is two shoes. What shoes did he use? I looked and saw whose, and I said to the cat, this is very bad news. Now the spot is all over, dad's $10 shoes. What? When, when was this book from? The 40s, 50s? It was $10, you remember. <laughs> you can get $10 shoes right now. But like they're like, it's like the yeah, white dress it, it, the Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll back well of course, that's a lot of money back then. Well, that's what I was asking, was it yeah. in the 50s too? I guess so. That's that's like yeah. greasers and stuff. You'd go over. You'd go to like the. Uh, that's when you get milkshakes. Yeah, someone said gas was a dollar a gallon in like the nineties. I'm not shocked. I am. Do, do, gas was two dollars in our lifetime. Yeah, you're right. So, All right, go ahead. Three dollars last like <laughs> six months ago. But your dad will not know about that," said the cat. "He will never find out." Laughed the cat in the hat. His ten dollars shoes will have no spots at all. I will rub them right off on this rug in the hall. But now we have rug spots, I yelled. What a day. 
Rug spots, what next? Can you take them away? Don't ask me, he laughed, why you know that I can. Then he picked up the rug and away the cat ran. I can clean up these rug spots before you count three. No spots are too hard for a cat like me. He ran into dad's bedroom and then the cat said, it is good that your dad has the right kind of bed. Then he shook the rug crack. Now the bed had the spot and all I could say was, now what cat, now what? But the cat just stood still. He just looked at the bed. This is not the right kind of bed, the cat said. To take the spots off this bed will be hard, said the cat. I can't do it alone, said the cat in the hat. It is good I have someone to help me, he said, right here in my hat on the top of my head. It is good that I have him here with me today. He helps me a lot. This is little cat A. Then little cat A took the hat off his head. It is good to have someone to help me, he said. This is little cat B and I keep him about. And when I need help, then I let him come out. And then B said, I think we need little cat C. That spot is too much for cat A and me. But now have no fear, we will clean it away. The three of us, little cats B, C, and A. Come on, take it away, yelled little cat A. I will hit that old spot with this broom, do you see? It comes off the old bed, it goes on to the TV. And then little cat B cleaned up the TV. He cleaned it with milk, put a spot in a pan. Then C blew it out of the house with a fan. But look where it went, I said, look where it blew. You blew the mess out of the house, that is true. But now you made snow spots. You, can, you can't let them stay. Let us think about that now, said C, B, and A. With some help we can do it, said little cat C. Then pop on his head, we saw little cat D. Then pop, 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 little cats E, F, and G. We will clean up that snow if it takes us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away, said little cats G, F, E, D, C, B, A. They ran out of the house then, and we ran out too, and the big cat laughed. Now you'll see something new. My cats are all clever. My cats are good shots. My cats have good guns. They will kill all those spots. But this does not look very clever to me. Kill snow spots with a pop gun? That could, just could not be. All this does is make more spots. We yelled at the cat. Your, cat are no go- your cats are no good. Put them back in your hat. Take your little cats, G-F-E-D-C-B-A, Put them back in your hat and you take them away. Oh no, said the cat. All they need is more help. Help is all that they need, so keep still and don't yelp. Then little cat G took the hat off his head. I have little cat H here to help us, he said. Little cats H, I, J, K, L, and M. Both our work is so hard, we must have more than them. But our work is so hard, we must have more than them. We need cat, little cat N, we need O, we need P, we need little cats Q, R, S, T, U, and V. Come on, kill their spots, kill the mess, yelled the cats, and they jumped at the snow with long rakes and red bats. They put it in pails and they made high pink hills, pink snowmen, pink snowballs, and little pink pills. Oh, the things that they did, and they did them so hard, it was all one big spot now all over the yard. But the big cat stood there and he said, this is good. This is what they should do, and I knew that they would. With a little more help, all the work will be done. They need one more cat, and I know just the one. Look close in my hand, I have little cat V. On his heads are cat W, X, Y, and Z. Z is too small, you see, so don't try. You cannot, but Z is the cat who will clean up the spot. Now here is the Z you can't see, said the cat, and I bet you can't guess what he has in his hat. He has something called Voom. Voom is so hard to get, you never saw anything like it, I bet. Why, Voom cleans up anything, clean as can be. Then he yelled, take your hat off now, cat little Z. Take the vroom off your head and make it clean up the snow. Hurry, you little cat. One, two, three, go. Then the vroom, it went vroom, and oh boy, what a vroom. Now don't ask me what vroom is. I never will know. But boy, let me tell you, it does clean up snow. So you see, laughed the cat. Now your snow is all white. Now your work is all done. Now your house is all right. And you know where my little cats are, said the cat? That vroom blew my little cats back in the hat. And so if you ever have spots now and then, I will be very happy to come here again. With little cats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, 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 O, P, and Q, R, S, T, and cat U, and cat V, and little cats W, X, Y, and Z. Yay. Yes. Love it. Love it. Uh, and I loved cat V. 
Because that's who Kat Von D. <laughs> it's interesting because um, it's like, should I stop talking? Oh, it's interesting because um, Cat in the Hat kind of makes sense now because is that where all ca- all the cats and the hats originate in a hat? He's a cat in a hat, but is it also the cats that are inside oh, of the hat? Oh, he's a cat in a hat. Yeah, but all these cats are in the hat. They've come out of the hat. Did he originally come out of the hat? It actually makes it that? makes more sense because you're not in a hat; you're wearing a hat. I know that's what I'm thinking. You're cat under a hat, or yeah, you know, you're cat in a hat. So looking at the first book. I'm, I'm, all right, well, what do you have to say about it? Um, I have to say that um, it was. I found it to be all about distraction. Like from yeah. from the very beginning, they were distracted, and then they just kept getting distracted. Yeah, well, I, I'm like sort of remembering. That's why I cut the book, but okay. I realized that would take too much time. It's too much, but we can. The read first one it. we did talk about that idle mind. Okay. And um, we were saying that's sort of what the cat represented yeah. was your mind being filled and you getting off track. Right. And then like trying to wrangle with your mind again. Right. Um, and so that's sort of like the first one they were bored. This one they were working. Like, Yeah. Well, they like they were presented with a huge chore. Yes. Mom's like, do it. Yeah. You know, and then it's like it wasn't I don't think they were like so excited to be doing it. It yeah. was It was a uh, we have to do this. Yeah. So. Um, I think it's, it's, it, he always shows up when, you know, there are times where your mind would wander. Right. Yeah. And it's like, what's filling You're willing space. to be, you're willing to be distracted. It's that distraction. And, yeah. Um, even before these books, I've always, I often compare the house to your mind. Yes. And like, you know, you want a clutter free mind. Right. You know, to make you feel better. You want a place you're comfortable in, be comfortable in your mind. Um, that's your like, safe space. And we can talk about the more nitty gritty, but I think. Kind of an interesting thing is it was getting so out of hand that what happened, all the paint went outside. Yeah. Right? Like when it literally was covered oh, the entire house. right, right, right. The next thing it blew out and covered all the snow. Yeah. And your environment. That sort of happens with our mind, right? Yeah. Like it's like that is the problem of like letting your mind get out of hand because it will present itself then in actions right. or in like you actually doing something. Right. It could even think about that it could be go with the pollution podcast of wednesday yeah so my thing is i was i I had it ready to go to talk about it of you know it's like that yeah distractions and the multiplying of it right that's what i was thinking yeah it just kept creating more problems creating more more problems and it's like bringing in more people to make solutions yeah and And it's like if they just stopped or like just were okay with the first mess you can clean it but it was that boom 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 um never stopping until room came in Okay. Because Vroom cleaned up the entire... Like, so I, 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 I know. That's the thing. I thought... Okay. It's Voom, first of all. Voom, sorry. <laughs> I thought that... So this was all the distraction that was happening, right? But every time it was, it was fixed, right? Yeah. So I thought, oh my gosh, at the end, the path is not going to be shoveled. The mom is going to say, what have you been doing? And they had nothing to show for it because yeah. everything had been fixed. Uh, right and uh, it's like this happened it's like well the tub looks fine yeah well, your dress the dress looks fine so i thought oh my gosh they're gonna get in so much trouble but then you get the end the path was the path was cleared for them so i was like wait that Cause, cause, that because they should have never followed him into the house remember they're like yeah. oh and they followed him into the house but no that would have been a better ending yeah. alternate ending maybe the cat comes back again yeah. the alternate ending would have been that because it would have made a lot of sense right because like your mind gets distracted, right. compounding, and then you trying to wrestle with your own internal, and then you don't do what you originally were right. supposed to do. Right. Or like any kind of distraction that's not good. And then right. it's like you realize you didn't get any of the work you needed done. But the only yeah. other thing I thought in in, 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 after I found that the path was shoveled, was I thought, oh, did their imagination allow them to do a terribly boring, hard task? Like were they thinking the whole, like the whole? No, because they were stressed. Because they yeah they weren't happy. running around. They weren't happy. No. Yeah, or maybe like you know you know uh, I'll compare it to in the last minute. Okay. Maybe this is something. Okay. Is the getting really in your head and worked up about unnecessary problems? Right. Because when it was going to work itself out anyway. It's going to work itself out. Okay. Like, okay. Because they never like created a mess. And they never fixed anything. No. It was all... Oh, you're right. It was all this like... You, when you, Anxiety when you, when for no reason. When you stress out mm-hmm. and it's like you compound it. But then this is going to happen. And, this, and it's like in the end, if they had... You're right. If they had never gone in the house. Right. 
the cat would have still taken a bath. He was always planning on cleaning it. Right. And it would have gotten all the way to the room and it would have been done. And why would he, why would they be in trouble for what he had, even if he yeah. hadn't cleaned it? Why would the mom say, you should have been in the house? Ha- like you told us to be outside. Yeah. So they didn't, they didn't stay. I think you talked about that this week, staying present. Yes. You know, and focused on what they were supposed to be doing. Yeah. And, and I, I think it just goes to that, like. Yeah, that makes sense because yeah. it was finished at the end. So it was unnecessary they were, worrying. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, we do find that where like, and we, we often talk about it even with Christians where mm-hmm. like. You're like chasing someone else, and it's like, right? Uh, you're doing this. Worry wrong. about you're, yourself. You're doing this wrong. Mm-hmm. You're doing this wrong, and it's like, in the end, look, I did what. Like, if, right. why? Why didn't you worry about your job? Yes. Like nothing in here you had to you had to deal with. It all worked itself out. Yeah. In and so even though it didn't happen with the mom getting home, it didn't say Voom shoveled for them. Right. It's, right. They still had their entire job, and the cats were all back in the hat. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> Did it again, folks. I did it. All right. Well, that was uh, Cat in the Hat Comes Back. Is there another one? I don't know. Is there? Is I was there... surprised to see that one. And yeah. it's like the same art and everything. When you're, So you go to Barnes & Noble for these? Yeah. Is there like a section or do you got to... Like, There's a hunt? section. Okay. But I do need... Do you, I was about to say, do you see like uh, we're running out? Uh, yeah, we have to be. <laughs> but also when I'm there, I'm like, did we read this? I, I You know mm. me and my list. There's yeah. a list somewhere. The playlist. I, I have yeah, to. <laughs> you told them all to go to the playlist. And I have to go to the playlist for next week because I really was wondering, like, did we do that? I'm yeah. not sure. I don't know. All right, guys. That was Doc Street's Friday. Uh, I'm going to the beach. Next time you see me, I will be a teacher. All right. Peace. <laughs>